Hello, my name is Janelle Penner. I have written a lesson plan for a sixth grade class. I'm using ELA Common Core Standards and Visual Arts Standards. I'm also using some technology standards. The class is in the middle of a um, study on ancient China. I've been asked to teach an art lesson that integrates um, some of the ideas that they're using in class. It is a three-part lesson plan or unit. This lesson plan is placed in the middle of that unit. We will be covering the concept or idea of color symbolism in Chinese culture and I'm going to scroll down here to the procedures and just kind of get started uh, the teacher will introduce the lesson um, as color symbolism in Chinese culture and ask the students to observe this video they're going to watch and listen and write down uh, the colors that they see. So the question is, what colors do you see? And if I click on this, I can go to that page. And you can see this video was done by Samsung. And it's just basically a visual um, guide just kind of gives students of course you know we can't fly them all over to China so um, just kind of gives them the idea of some sights and sounds that they would see if they were in China and um, as they're watching the video they're noticing a lot of red and um, gold or yellow um, and so they're beginning to write some of these ideas and concepts down. Um, kind of go through it and they get familiar with some of the concepts they've already learned about in the Chinese theater and um, the maths and um, you know to sixth grade students this might be a, a little strange but it is just beginning to give them an idea of what this other culture um, values. And I won't show you the whole video, just kind of as they're going through it, writing down some questions and colors. So then we go back to the lesson plan and we see that the teacher now leads a discussion with the students. Um, I'm going to ask when looking at this video what colors do we see, which colors are, we, are used more, um, do you think these colors have any significance. So there we're introducing the idea of significance or symbolism um, behind the colors. So first we see that there are colors and there is a theme in those colors um, with the video. And then we're, we're discussing, we're, we're wondering whether there is a symbolism or a significance behind what those colors are. And so we, if we discuss maybe for about five minutes some of those ideas and concepts um, with the students. The next thing uh, we do is we go to this website where I've created a quiz which will tell the students, it will verify some of the ideas that they have come up with, um, whether they think um, there is any significance to these colors and um, this quiz is going to kind of verify what those colors mean and so as we go to that page we can 
see that there's a quiz set up, Chinese color symbolism. And so which color do you think represents respect in China? And I did kind of give a little bit of a visual here. There is um, this yellow outfit that the man is bowing in and um, that that might give a brain clue or a cognitive clue that yeah it could be possibly yellow and so we click on that and yeah it, it's yellow so um, we see that they can kind of go through here and see these colors uh, what color do you think represents good fortune and joy in China and I put a video or not a video but an image here of the lanterns that are set up during Chinese New Year which if um, which was last week and if they had the background knowledge that I believe that they have they have been studying about um, ancient China and Chinese New Year and kind of uh, those types of things and we can see the red lanterns and um, Chinese New Year is about good fortune uh, and celebration and so um, we would guess that it was red. So as you go through here we can see um, those types of things and it's kind of fun. The students will not be working um, individually. They will be answering these together as a group and so it will help kind of ease the stress and the anxiety that comes along with taking a quiz and it becomes more fun and more um, more relaxed as students realize that it's it's more like a, a game rather than a quiz. So let's go back here. Um, once we've gone through that, we go move on to um, just introducing the idea of their collaborative projects, um, which they will be collaborating together in reading an article in their groups um, they will choose one of the colors there's five colors that go along with the Taoism and um, and in this article it exp explains that and so they'll choose one of those colors uh, to represent of course you know first come first serves they they do get an opportunity to choose as a group but it is first come first serve and um, so each group, there will be five groups which will represent each color and they will be responsible for conveying the information that is in that article to the rest of the class um, in, a, in, a, in a, an oral presentation at the end of class. So what they'll do is they'll go through the article, they'll find their color and be responsible for it. They can read the whole article if that's what they want to do or if they just want to find, um, skim through and find their color and the meanings that go along with that then um, they can do that as well and then as, as a group they will be presenting uh, posters so they'll also take what they've learned they'll put it in notes and then or and organize their thoughts before they make their poster and once they've made their poster at the end of class then they will um, share that with the group I did kind of get ahead of myself and I did not show you that article so I will click on the article here which we see it says colors and their symbolic values in culture and we can see the five elements here um, there's water fire wood metal earth and each of those things have a color that goes along with them and an explanation beside it and so the students will read through this it's not too long if they want to go down and get more in depth they can each student is responsible for having at least one new information to share with the class and so each student will be 
um, saying at least one sentence in the oral presentation, and that is um, in the rubric that I have. So I'll close this down and kind of show you that rubric as well. I did make the rubric using Ruby Star, and here we have um, plan for organizing information. The students and the the best grade you can get. Students have developed a clear plan for organization, the information as organizing the information as it is gathered and in the final research product. All students can independently explain the planned organization of the research findings. So that's there. Um, and then researchers independently identify color symbolisms found in the research and um, give examples. So that is independently each one of them will say at least one sentence that will have um, an independent discovery of what they found and an example. Um, and then the last thing is delegation of responsibility. Each student in the group can clearly explain what information is needed um, by the group, what information he, she is responsible for locating, and when the information is needed. So basically participation is happening um, with all of the members. So, um, And this is my lesson plan. Let me scroll to the top here to see if there's anything else that I should cover. Uh, we are doing the teacher guided discussions which we went through in the procedures group discussion and quiz. So during that quiz that they take they will be able to have um, discussion time before they answer the questions. Um, and they can answer them together. And then the collaborative project, which they will be working collaborative together, but they are also individually responsible for knowing that information and conveying it to the class. So thanks for taking a listen, and I hope you enjoyed.